Okay, the first drill we're gonna go over is a chop punch drill. Okay, very simply, we're gonna start off from, with our feet together. Okay, our set position is gonna be here. Okay, both hands crossing. You're gonna have your fists on your elbows. Okay, just like this. Now we're gonna start off on our left side. First thing we're gonna do is spot to the left. We're gonna step out into our front stance at a 45 degree angle. Okay, as we execute the chop, with the left hand, the right hand is gonna come back in the chamber. When we chamber, you wanna make sure that the, the butt end of the blade or the back of the blade is up against your shoulder. Okay, you don't want it down here because it's too low. It's not gonna look as clean. You want it up against your shoulder, press firmly. Okay, elbows in nice and tight. Your, your chop is on the line, your blade is flat. Okay, you wanna keep as tight of a grip on the weapon as possible because you don't want the weapon to bobble. Because as soon as it bobbles, the judges are gonna hit you for something like that, and that's gonna be a deduction. So from here, we're gonna execute the punch. It's gonna come out completely straight, okay? As it comes out, the blade is gonna roll back slightly, okay? Because it's a comma and it's a bladed weapon. So when you're striking, you're digging into your opponent. You're not gonna come out completely straight like this to where you're just hitting with the butt end, okay? You want the blade to come up so that it's like stabbing into your attacker. So from the chop here, as we go out for the strike, you see the blade rolls up and then digs in as I lock out, okay? So let's take it again from the start. Set position, spot to the left, step out to the 45, chop, right hand comes all the way back in the chamber, punch and lock. Now you're gonna spot to the right, you're gonna chamber back into your chest, okay? So it's a full retraction of the wrist and the elbow, locking out here, stepping right under your arm with your right leg to the 45 here and punch, okay? Spot to the left, retract in, chop, as you're stepping, you punch, okay? So now when you're chopping, you wanna make sure you're chopping from the 45 here, okay? You don't wanna turn into the, the chop because there's not gonna be enough power behind the punch. You wanna put your body behind the punch so you need to step in and lock at the same time. So you're chopping from here so that you look clean. You show, you're opening up your body, you're giving the judges what they wanna see. Now when you step in for the punch, your whole body's behind it and you stop on the dime. Okay, you don't wanna hit, then punch, it's not as strong. You don't wanna punch, then step, it's not as strong, it doesn't look right. Okay, make sure that you're chopping from your 45s, punching and stopping at the same time, okay? Same thing here, spot to the left, chop and lock, punch. To the right, chop and lock, and punch, okay? You don't wanna rush this drill because then you're gonna mess up your techniques. So let's take it back to the first step. Prep position, looking to the left, step out to the 45, chop, punch, to the right, chop, punch, left, chop, punch, okay? Make sure that you're staying in your 45s. When we go into the form, we're really gonna focus on 45 degree angles, not side angles because they're too wide, okay? It takes a lot less time to go from 45 to 45 than it would take to go from the side to the side. Okay, so make sure that you're using your angles because they're very important. Now, a few things we want to focus on in this again. First to 45, make sure that you're in a good solid stance because you're going to need the, this base to help with the power of your punches. Chop, make sure the chamber is always up against your shoulder, not down here by your belt, up at the shoulder. Punch and lock, pulling the opposite hand all the way back. Chop, while you're still in the 45, as you step, there goes the punch chamber hands always on the shoulder. Always look first, retract your elbow fully, chop with your back arched, okay? So you're kind of like pushing your shoulder blades together so that your lines are as, as clean as possible. So pulling back as far as you can, step and punch, spot, chop and retract, punch. Notice that when I'm doing this chop, my chamber hand doesn't move, it stays in one spot. So I'm doing this from the punch all the way to the chop without any motion here. That's gonna help me look cleaner because if my hand drifts into the center, now it's gonna look a little sloppier because now when you're looking at the technique, all you're gonna see is this and then a short punch instead of a big punch coming from the back. So from here, as we do the chop, chamber hand is locked. We execute the punch, locking this hand here, retracting, chopping, stepping, all locking the chamber hand and good technique. Another thing to remember when you're doing this drill, when you're starting from your prep position, okay, when you're doing this drill, you wanna drill it until your arms are burning, okay? What I usually do is, when I'm going, uh, when I'm working in school, working from end to end of the school, okay? 
doing this as much as possible is going to help your technique greatly. If you're just, you know, walking through your form, that's great, but it's not enough. You need to do drills outside of that to work the technique in general. So you really want to focus a lot on this drill before you go into your form. Okay, do this drill up and down the school over and over again, working on the technique. When your arms get tired, don't start getting sloppy and just start rushing it to get through the drill. It's not enough. You need to focus on it. So work from corner to corner, up and down the school as hard as you can, always focusing on proper technique. If you feel the technique's off, go back, do it again. It's only going to make yourself better.